Hey YouTube, Beams here. Today I'm going over three best money making methods in Need for Speed Heat. These methods are completely legitimate and do not utilize any glitches or exploiting the whole game, so it won't hurt your experience with the progression system. Before I continue, a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated, as it supports me to keep uploading content. It's also free and you can always change your mind later. A like rating will also help for YouTube to push this video to others and all of those algorithm nonsense at YouTube. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first method to my knowledge can be done at two different locations, with no differentiating factor to doing them at the other location. The first location is at the east edge of the map. You can travel here quickly by fast traveling to the safe house nearby. You then want to go to the left side of this bridge, and then you want to drive up on top through this pipe. Once you're here, you want your car's rear bumper to hit this little elevation thing. I don't know what to call it, so we'll just call it an elevation thing. Then you want to drive forward at an angle to jump, seen here. You'll want to aim yourself to land between the two bridges. This will force the game to reset you back to before the jump on the ledge, and you can keep repeating it. One star will reward you 3,300 credits, and if you have a fast enough car and you hit two stars, you'll be making approximately 5,000 credits, nearly double the previous one star. This is quite effective as it only takes a couple of seconds to drive off, reset, and go again. The other location is at the west side of the map, along with a safe house nearby. It's exactly the same, with the same parts being a jump event but you want to drive straight forward and aim to land on this little island in the middle of the river. The only problem with this jump reset method is due to how boring it can get to constantly drive, reset, drive, reset, and so on. For the second method, you will want to enter the Palm City Raceway near the starting safe house. It's another jump event, but it's a bit more enjoyable being you get to drive your car around the circuit and do the jump and repeat. In order to complete it, you will need to drive anti-clockwise and hit this jump. The only problem with this method is it may get tiring like the previous method, and you will need a fast car in order to get consistent 3-star jumps for the highest payout, which for me is 6,000 credits. The last and most enjoyable method that comes with many benefits and is one I on a regular basis do due to its high replayability is the night method. In order to complete the night method, you'll want to go to night and complete the discovery races A, B, and C. You first want to travel to discovery A, and once you complete it, you will be nearby to discovery B. And once discovery B is complete, you will be nearby to discovery C, where you will complete it. Once done the discovery races, you'll have over three heat level, usually heat level four. You can then proceed to the heat three race and complete it. Once it's completed, you have, you'll most likely have a heat level of 5, so you can travel to the heat 5 race and complete it. If you're not at heat level 5 that night, just do a couple more random races across Palm City to reach it, and then go on to win the heat level 5 race. Once you complete the heat level 5 race, you'll then want to end the night at a safe house. This is my favorite method for a plethora of reasons. Due to all the content you have to complete our races, it makes it a hundred times better than driving off a cliff and resetting. The payout I got out in the night session was 225,122 credits. On top of these credits, I also unlocked two ultimate parts from the two heat races. So not only did I make some money, but I also got parts to make my car even faster. The races that you get the credits from are the heat races, so really focus on getting them done and winning them. I only do these discovery races for its close proximity to each of the race, and the reputation increase, and the enjoyment of the races. The only problem with this method is you have to have a good car. There is no other way of doing this method without having a really good car, especially on the heat races. With the discovery races, it's quite easier than the heat races, as the heat races give you money, parts, and high heat, while the discovery races only give you reputation. Therefore, the competition will be harder on the heat races. 
good car is necessary as you will not only have to race your competitors but you also have to avoid the police and not crash into not only your surroundings but also not crash into pedestrian vehicles. Also, if you want to see a build video of the car I'm using right now, the Porsche 911 GT2 RS 2018 model, comment it down below and I'll try and make the video as soon as possible. Before I conclude today's video, I really do hope you enjoyed it or even learned a new method of making money in Need for Speed Heat. A like rating will also be greatly appreciated, helping YouTube to push this video to others. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.